on the west side. But right now it's time for the weekly wrap up. So every single week we do this. Shout out to all the pair. Bish way. So let's get right into it. All right, all right, all right. Number five goes out to David Beckham and Kevin Hart's H&M advert. Hey, what are you doing here? Um, come on. No, I'm sorry. I'm so okay. sorry. Okay. Oh, don't be mad. You're not mad no, at me, are you? Never. All right. You're you're out of toilet paper in the bathroom. Oh my god. It's 4 a.m. What are you doing in my bed, Kev? Huh? What? What are you doing in my bed? Oh! Not, not right now, David. I can't. You know what I like about it is the fact that it's actually got like teamwork. It, it, it just works. Sometimes you get duos that just don't work whatsoever. Trust me, daddy. Yeah. I rate it. I rate it highly. So number four is a good one as well. It's all to do with Tupac and the letter that he wrote in jail, which has now been sold for, and get this, $225,000. But I'm rich beyond my wildest dreams. Okay. So in the UK, that's probably about, I don't know, 150,000 pounds. That's still a lot of money. Hopefully it will go to a good cause, whichever, whatever they do with it as well. They won't just like hold it and put it into some like sort of like frame and then leave it forever. Do something productive with it. But at the same time, how like what can you really do with a letter at the same time? It's more sentimental in it. So we're gonna have to leave it there. All right, number three. Number three is all to do with Rick Ross, yeah? Now this week, he's you know, he's releasing, he's doing, releasing his music. He's got a brand new track with Chris Brown out called Sorry. Like a thug, I just wanna fuck. That's every day. Temporary separations, confessing my mistakes. She packed the bags and left me home and I'm still hurt. And he has been clowning 50 Cent. So he said, yeah, this is bad deep, you know. He was like, I just feel homie a shallow, weak dude. You dig? And you gotta be shallow at this point. I'll probably be in my emotions as well as if my first album was titled Get Rich or Die Trying and I filed bankruptcy. Mm. That's just deep, in it? Like, I don't even know what to say to that. You know what I mean? Like, how could you, how could you say that? All I gotta do is... <laughs> <laughs> Do you know how deep that is? He actually fully said, you know, because the worst thing is, yeah, it's, it's true, isn't it? Like, obviously, I'm not trying to, like, take sides or anything like that, yeah, but the way Rick Ross took that, I was just like, no, <laughs> no. The word, but the thing is, the other violation in that interview is when he spits out his gum and then gives it to Angela Yee. You better believe it, what this is, right? Gum. Oh, okay. He thought you were passing the number. You thought you were passing the number. <laughs> Your girl's yeah, over there, so that. I gotta pass yeah. you this note. They still do that. They do. <laughs> they gave me back the yeah, guy. Yeah, yeah. Really, nigga? Fully, full violation right there, you know? Like, real, real talk, Angela Yee. You stupid. They're not. If that was me, I'd have been like, boy, you better put that chewing gum on the table, you know? I am not, I'm not taking that. Are you mad? So, I don't think so. Number two is all to do with Drake. Like Top Boy so much that he was willing to actually pay for a third series because it's now cancelled. I want a life. I was born and bred in Summer House, 26 years old. Got nothing else to be except this. <laughs> like, this is great banter. It really is. They were going to move it into Chicago. Ashley Waters was supposed to be in it as well. Probably Kano would jump in as well. He was thinking about investing in some money into it. And you never know, it actually still could happen. Now, if that actually happens, that could be pretty sick. But will it turn into something like The Wire, though? That's the only thing. Or not even The Wire, but you know what I mean? Like something that's not, Top Way had that, you know, British feel to it. Well, obviously it was shot in like Britain, but you know what I mean? Like it wasn't like trying to copy anything. So if Drake jumps in on this vibe right now, what will he do to it? I am not sure, but you know what? Yeah, for now, I think it's a good look. Trust me, daddy. But then I understand that some people might not really care. So in Drake's words, man don't care about all that right now, bro. Exactly. Number one this time round goes to the three-year-old DJ, or, and yeah, I'm saying it, three-year-old DJ who actually went into South Africa's Got Talent and has just gone viral on the internet. He, 
he went in, didn't it? He fully went in. But I'm never joking. Like, he smashed it. So I think, yeah, that, like, he could potentially be a big DJ in the future. As long as he sticks to it, innit? We, hopefully he doesn't get to five. Start thinking about nursery. Start moving away from that, you know what I mean? Do the DJ on the side, man. We want to drop up. We want you to drop a hot record by eight. He could actually be one of the youngest people to ever be a, a DJ and get like a number one. You know, you don't ever know. You never know these things. The guy's free right now and he's doing bits. Imagine what he's going to do in a couple of years. So I'm just going to drop one more sound effect because i got to be that guy. And it is the weekly wrap up as well. So I think I'm going to go with, are you a sick DJ? Oh, yes. There we go. All right, that is the weekly wrap up done and dusted. Five topics done. That'll be back next week as well. I just can't believe that like a three-year-old DJ is just doing so many bits right now. Keep a look for more videos. I'll catch you in a bit. Peace. Westside. Fetty Wap, who injured himself on his motorbike and he didn't even have a driving license at the time. Can you have a driver's license? Yeah. Really? Yeah, I got a driver's license and a motorcycle license. Really, nigga? Mm, oh my God, why the fuck you 